Hello everyone, my name is Kel Spellman and it is such a pleasure and treat to be with you all and kicking off the Wildlife Trust's big wild weekend. What a weekend they have in store for us. Now before I begin, firstly I just want to say a massive thank you to the Wildlife Trust for having me as your host but also for the 30 days wild that they've been putting on and I'm sure lots of you have been getting involved with such a brilliant way for us to go reconnect with nature and wildlife that is literally on our doorstep and of course putting on this wonderful weekend that we're all going to enjoy and secondly I would like to say a massive thank you to all of you for joining us for taking part and taking the time this evening to sit back relax and kick things off for the big wild weekend in style coming up we have got a whole host of brilliant artists who have very kindly taken the time to record us some music that we can all enjoy together and I will be guiding us through. So we are in for a lovely evening, so sit back, relax, and I will take you through. Now, before we do begin, I would love just to take a moment of your time before we get into the music to tell you a little bit more about the Wildlife Trusts. Now, I have been a massive fan of the Wildlife Trusts for years and have been working with them and supporting them quite closely for the last few. It's something that I'm incredibly proud of and hope to do for many years to come. The work that they do is crucial. What they stand for, what they believe in uh, and what they do for us and for our wildlife is nothing short of amazing. So they really are a brilliant charity that are very close to my heart and I wholeheartedly believe and support in all the work that they do and continue to do as I'm sure you at home do too. The Wildlife Trusts are a collection of charities from up and down the country who exist to make our green spaces, to make our outdoors, to make our seas as wild as possible, while at the same time reconnecting you and I with nature. They believe that everyone deserves to live in a healthy, wildlife rich world but for that we need more wild spaces that we care for that we look after and also that are better connected and one of the other things that the wildlife trusts do and it's one of my favorite things about the charities is that they really are committed to educating people about nature about wildlife about our green spaces and in turn helping them find a love and appreciation for all those things and then with that love and appreciation wanting to speak out and act for nature and for wildlife because we are all well aware we have got a finite amount of time to turn the tide against climate change and for that to happen we all have a role to play we all have to speak up but more importantly we do have to protect and care love and appreciate our wildlife and our nature here at home because they are going to be fundamental in this fight against climate change. They know and we know there is a long road ahead. There is so much work that needs to be done and that can only be done if we all work together and we all take responsibility and we all do our bit. Some of the things that the Wildlife Trust are doing, well, first and foremost, they are constantly and always campaigning for and speaking up for nature and for all things wild, whether that be trying to bring back beavers into the UK and increase their population numbers, whether that be protecting our seas, whether that be nature on prescription as part of our health service, because there is that link between good physical and mental well-being can come from spending time outdoors in nature it's a beautiful place it's a win-win or if it's keeping an eye on urban developments and speaking out when some of those urban developments might have catastrophic effects on wildlife numbers and on our wild spaces that's just a few things i've mentioned there honestly they do so so much more and it's been a real privilege of mine to be able to support them and see the work that they do and if you were to just go on their website and do a little bit of research you will just see the unbelievably uh massive amount of things that the wildlife trusts are doing up and down the country uh, the work they do is vital and is something as a person of this planet that i am incredibly grateful for and also brings me so much hope that with the wildlife trusts around and organizations that do the same thing we can turn things around and there is a glimmer of light at the end of this tunnel where we can live and exist in a green clean sustainable future where nature humans and wildlife all thrive and live harmoniously together we really can do this and it can be achieved and that is massively helped by the work of the wildlife trusts 
So tonight, it is a celebration of all things wild. It is also a chance for us to kick off our big wild weekend, which I'm very excited for. But also, it is a chance for us to take a moment to think about our love and appreciation for our natural world, but also reflect on what we can do individually and also collectively to really turn the tide in the fight against climate change, to protect and nurture our wild spaces and our wildlife here at home and how we can help support the Wildlife Trust continue the work that they do. And together, and I really do firmly believe this, we can change the world. We can make the world whatever it is we want it to be. We can make a very wild, green, clean, sustainable future for us and for generations to come. We can do this. But that's enough from me. You can probably tell I could rabbit on about this all evening, but nobody wants to hear that. What we do want to hear, though, are the musical acts we have in store for you, who, as I said at the start, very kindly recorded us some very special performances. So thank you to them all in advance. We kick things off in style with an absolute legend. Here is Sophie Ellis Baxter performing the very appropriate Wild Forever.
to surrender We know, we know, we just have to surrender what a fantastic way to kick off tonight's show. A massive thank you to Sophie for that wonderful performance. And that won't be the last that we hear from Sophie. She's going to be performing again for us a little bit later on. So do stick with us and keep your eyes peeled for that. We are here, of course, to kick off the Wildlife Trust Big Wild Weekend, all part of 30 Days Wild, which encourages you to do one wild thing each day for 30 days. It's a brilliant part of the year for me. I absolutely love it. It gives us a chance to all reconnect with nature just by doing one simple thing and also reconnect with our inner eco-warrior that we all have inside of us. So the Wildlife Trusts are calling out for 30% of land and seas to be protected and to be managed for wildlife. But for that to happen, they need our help. And remember, together, we can achieve great things. We can change the world. So if you want to help the Wildlife Trust continue with their critical work and help us achieve this goal of managing 30% of land and sea for wildlife, there is a link in the description to this video. So if you click that, it will take you to a donation page and any help that you might be able to give, no matter how small, it would make a massive difference to the Wildlife Trust, but also to what they are trying to achieve. So if you could give just a small amount, it would really be greatly appreciated. And that way we can all help protect and care for our precious planet, this place that we all call home. Thank you. Right, enough from me. Let's get on with the show. And up next, I'd like to introduce Jack Savarotti with a wild and windy performance of his single, Singing to Strangers. Who am I? I wonder why I spent my life singing strangers. Who are you? What can I do to make you see that I am not a failure? All I can do is try my very best to entertain you. All eyes on me again, but I don't believe there's anything to see. It's only me, can't you see? Jack, thank you so much. Battling the elements there like a true professional, but very appropriate for today's wild show. So a massive thank you to Jack for that brilliant rendition of his song, Singing to Strangers. Uh, thank you so much to you all for joining us and sharing this show with us. I'm having a brilliant time. I hope you are too. Do remember, if you can make a small donation to the Wildlife Trust, there is a little link that you can click in this description that will take you to that page and it will help them continue do their brilliant work that they're doing up and down the country, helping protect our wildlife and our wild spaces. I'm sure, like me, as I've said, you've all enjoyed one of their nature reserves 
at some point. So any donation that you can give really will be greatly appreciated. And if you have donated already, it goes without saying, we just wanted to express our utmost gratitude uh, for your kindness and generosity. Um, okay, I've been very much looking forward to this performance. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Katie Tunstall. Hi everyone, this is Katie Tunstall. I'm so pleased to be taking part in the Wildlife Trust's big wild weekend. Uh, you can go to wildlifetrusts.org if you want to find out more information and see how you can get involved. Um, I always use nature in my songwriting. It's, it's always been a really important lyrical tool for me. And uh, this song definitely showcases that. And it's, um, it was about when I first moved to London from Scotland and I felt completely, completely overwhelmed by being surrounded by people instead of surrounded by nature as I'd been used to growing up. And um, I saw this bird that was half pigeon and half dove and uh, it totally felt like me. <laughs> anyway, this is called White Bird. <laughs> On the bill, we have the incredibly talented Mr. David Gray. Now, David is a big supporter of the Wildlife Trust, and actually, this song that you're about to hear, Running on the Waves, which you might have already heard, is inspired by some beautiful spots that are managed by the Wildlife Trust in South and West Wales. So, without further ado, please do take it away, David Gray. Ooh, poet, and I don't even know it. Thank you. 
Nation. Prisons preached by proud actions. Seven leap and proud actions. Swing like the grave. What a beautiful performance. Massive thank you again to David Gray. And I think you could really see and feel how much those stunning islands inspired him. That really was beautiful. So massive thank you. And I hope you enjoyed at home and are enjoying this show. Up next, I would like to introduce the brilliant Bella Hardy. And I actually have a fun fact for you. Bella composed the theme tune to David Oak's Trees A Crowd podcast. So you really do learn something new every day don't mention it and speaking of david he's going to be joined by wildlife trust ambassador sophie pavel for our big wild quiz that is taking place on sunday night over on the wildlife trust facebook page so do be sure to check that out come sunday evening make yourself a cup of tea put your feet up pen and paper in hand you'll be good to go very much looking forward to that sure to be a wild one for sure um, but without further ado here is none other than the brilliant bella hardy hello everybody my name is Bella Hardy, I'm a folk singer from the Peak District and it is very lovely to be playing for you today as part of the Wildlife Trust's Big Wild Weekend. Um, I sing, I play the fiddle uh, and I would love to be singing for you outside today in the wild but alas it has been raining on and off all day and if there's one thing that the fiddle is not a big fan of it's getting wet so i'm going to play inside for you today and instead i have uh, shuffled across this pal the plant so here's my little bit of indoor wild uh, for this uh, and I'll start with a song from the Peak District this song uh, is from the book and ballads of Derbyshire book, book ballads the book which is 
the Ballads and Songs of Derbyshire. There we go. It's the rain, it's stolen my words. Um, the book was published in 1867. This is The Peak Rhapsody. from the book of the Songs and Ballads of Derbyshire, 1867. Um, I want to do one more song uh, because this is a song I've written during the last few months, during this lockdown period. Um, I'm really lucky that I live in the shadow of Kinder Scout and my daily excursions were able to take me up onto the hill and I saw a white hare during lockdown. You don't see those very often, the mountain hares, still white. And um, all sorts of amazing things. And because there was not much footfall, to say the least, I would quite often not see anybody at all on my walks. And that's very rare, they're a very uh, visited place. Um, the wildlife really 
just had an amazing spring. Um, everything really had a lovely time. And I think it's something we have to be really aware of. Um, I'm in the village of Edale and the numbers of people who are now visiting and who visited you know, that first weekend that everything was open again. I understand everybody wants to get out and I'm so lucky to be there, but we have to be really careful of, of, our, of our landscape. Don't like barbecues, people. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Please don't take a barbecue on the moor. Um, I was really lucky to get to see the curlew having a great time, especially. And I was asked to write a song about the curlew for World Curlew Day for a podcast, which is called Trees A Crowd. David Oakes, who's an actor, goes and talks to people about their love of nature. So I wrote them this song and I wrote it for three voices. Uh, and alas, I've not been able to sing it with three voices yet, apart from myself, uh, because of the way we're living at the moment. So today I'm going to do it with two voices. This one and the fiddle, not the plant, because it's just not up to it yet. It's tried, but not yet. So hopefully this will transport you to that kinder plateau and those quiet days up there. This is Curlew. White hair is still the mountain king, but see his messengers return from salt and sand, return from salt and the taste of peat upon the tongue The grit stone is a thing within the Thank you so much for that performance and thank you again for your time. Do hope you're all enjoying the show. Remember, there is a little link below in the description if you could make a small donation towards the Wildlife Trust. It will make a massive difference and be greatly appreciated, so thank you. Now, sadly, we are edging closer to the end of tonight's fantastic show, if I may say so myself. But before that, I've still got a couple more performances to bring you. So up next, I would like to introduce and welcome along Katie Malua. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Melua and um, I'm delighted to be singing these two songs for the Wildlife Trust. I hope you have a great June. <laughs>
tell him to make me a cambric show Parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme Without no seams and no need to work Then he'll be Tell him to find me an acre of Tell him to reap it in a sickle of leather Parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme And to gather it in a bunch of heather Then he'll be Precious, I can't stand seeing you cry. It hurts watching you get what you don't deserve.
Fantastic performance there from Katie Malou. A massive thank you again to Katie for recording that special performance just for us. What an absolute treat. Now, it saddens me to say that sadly, I have only got one more act to bring you for us all to enjoy together. I know it is sad, but we are going to go out in style, so do not worry. Before we get to that, though, firstly, I just want to express my utmost appreciation to all of you for watching and joining us on tonight's show to kick off the Wildlife Trust big wild weekend. I think it's safe to say we have kicked it off in absolute style with a whole host of brilliant music performed by some fantastic artists. So again, massive thank you to them. And most importantly, a massive thank you to all of you for watching. I have absolutely loved it and enjoyed sharing the night with you and I hope you've enjoyed it too. Now, as I mentioned, tonight's show is a part of the Wildlife Trust 30 Days Wild, which has been taking place, but also to kick off our big wild weekend. So it's taking place all this weekend and there's so much happening tomorrow. We've got our summer solstice camp out, of course, celebrating the longest day of the year. So very much looking forward to that. And as I mentioned earlier, we have got our big wild quiz, which is taking place on Sunday night. Uh, that is going to be hosted by David and by Sophie. And there is also going to be some very special guests joining them in the form of Gillian Burke and Liz Bonin, to name a few. So that's happening on Sunday night. Get your pen and paper ready. All the details are in the description below. And while you are there, you will also find a link which will take you to the donation page. If you are able to make a donation, it would make a massive difference and be a really great help and if you have done that already it goes without saying it is massively appreciated and will go a long way in helping the wildlife trusts up and down the country continue their brilliant work which really is making a massive difference so thank you again please do keep involved with the wildlife trust remember we've got stuff happening all weekend and it will go on after that i mean this is a year-round thing 365 days of the year so um keep your eyes peeled on all things the wildlife trust i hope you all have a wonderful evening enjoy the weekend stay safe keep hydrated look after yourself and i will hopefully see you all very soon the only thing for me to do now is introduce our final performance of the night none other than the brilliant sophie ellis bexter peace and love we have but one more song left for you ray would you like to come dance with us mickey mood all you okay with us It's a murder on the dance floor But you better not kill the crew DJ, gonna burn this goddamn house right down Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know About your car, oh, he's alright, that right And so, and so, and so, and so, and so, and so, and so I'll have to So, 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 so. 